Hopefully by now you've had a chance to play some Fallout 4, gotten a feel for the game, and been sarcastic to half the Commonwealth. A free paper? Sounds like quality. Ouch. But Fallout 4 is a huge game with plenty to do in it, so let us make it a bit easier for you with these essential spoiler-free tips. Here's your headline. Local woman says no. It's the lowest form of wit, you know. I thought for ages that in Fallout 4 they'd taken out the option to wait. This is a really useful feature if you don't like exploring at night, or a shop you want to visit isn't open, or someone you're trying to visit isn't where they usually are. That doctor is never here when I need all my crippling addictions cured. In previous Fallout games you could choose to wait wherever, standing perfectly motionless for up to a day at a time, which didn't look strange at all to passers-by I'll bet. Now you need to sit down. Once you sit you'll be given the option to wait. It's the Y button on Xbox One. Sleeping also passes time, but everyone is really into to bed ownership in the Commonwealth. And who can blame them? Look at this handsome stained mattress. I played Fallout 3 and New Vegas to death and I was completely unaware that this was a thing until recently. It turns out brackets are the key to easier hacking in Fallout 4. If you can find a set of brackets, be they round, square, whatever these ones are called, that open and close themselves properly, they'll be highlighted together when you cursor over them. Hit A on the highlighted brackets for a hacking bonus. Either a dud word will be removed from the potential passwords, or occasionally your number of tries will be reset. I've no idea how I missed this for so long. If you're like me, give it a go and wonder how you ever hacked without it. Sweet. You know what I call a good day? One that ends without an empty stomach. If you're at all into base building and crafting in Fallout 4, you need to know how to use the workbenches in your settlements effectively. First off, remember you can dump all your junk into a workbench in one go by using the Y button, which frees up loads of carry weight for, well, more junk. If you plan on having more than one settlement though, you want the local leader perk available at Charisma level 6. Once you've got this perk, you can establish supply lines between your settlements by going into workshop mode, then going up to an unnamed settler and pressing right bumper. Companion characters will also work if you can spare them. Right, McCready? Are you kidding me? I've been bored out of my mind. You can then decide where to send this character and a supply line will be created between that settlement and the one you're in. This lets you create a shared crafting inventory between settlements which will save you loads of legwork if you want to build several bases throughout the commonwealth, or if you just need more wood for kitten pictures. What the fuck was that? When you're being stealthy in Fallout, the word hidden appears in square brackets on screen. What you may not have realised is that the further apart the square brackets are, the better your hiding spot is. The same is true of caution. This means you can be seen, and the further apart the square brackets get here, the closer you are to going back to hidden. And make sure you turn your Pip-Boy light off if you try to be stealthy, yeah? Tempting as it is in Fallout Combat to just stand out in the open, mainlining stim packs while you blast away at everything in vats, the game does have a corner cover system that you should be using if you want to avoid constantly having to explain yourself to Doctor Never Around When I Need Him. Severe lacerations, puncture wounds, muscle spasms in the eyes from high levels of stress. Move up to a corner and you'll lower your gun like this. Aim down sights and you'll edge yourself slightly out from the wall allowing you to fire at enemies and pop back into cover when they fire back. Useful better be worth it. Though it's super useful to have your companion character tote around all your heavy stuff for you, you should also remember that you can equip your partner with gear as well. So if you decide that McCready suits a Grognak the Barbarian costume, or that Dogmeat is only half a dog without a sporty red bandana, then choose the conversation option to trade with them, hand them the item in question, then press Y to equip it. This also lets you get your hands on their stuff too, so be sure to do it if you think Piper's red leather trench coat and jaunty hat ensemble would look better on you. A hundred caps seems light. I need more. I like your mark. While we're on the subject of companions, don't forget that human-shaped companions can also wear power armour, if you'd rather they didn't spend two-thirds of every combat encounter having a sit down. Hit A to command a buddy, then point them at the power armour to make them get in. When you want them out, simply talk to them and tell them so. I need you to get out of your power armor. You got it. I would be careful about where you leave your power armor lying around. Human enemies can also get into it if you leave it around, which is the last thing you need. I need you to get out of your power armor. Don't think that's going to work this time.
If you've made a mod for a weapon, but that weapon has been hopelessly outclassed by the boomsticks you've picked up since, don't worry. You can still get those mods back, you just need to craft a lower level mod to replace it with. So for example, if I want that glow sight off this combat shotgun, I need to craft a regular sight for it. This will place a combat shotgun glow sight into my inventory, ready to be applied to the next exciting combat shotgun I find, and requires far fewer resources than crafting a whole new one. And the less nuclear material you have to handle personally, the better, I find. I think I soaked up some rads out there. All right. Let's flush your system. Those were eight tips to give you the edge in Fallout 4's Commonwealth. What's your secret to survival in the wasteland? Drop your advice in the comments and like and subscribe for more Fallout 4 from outside Xbox. Thanks for watching.